Next word we got. Next phrase. Hammer lane. The hammer lane is basically the left lane. If it's a if you're on a freeway or highway, whatever you want to call it, and it's three lanes. Got the hammer lane, the uh speed limit lane, and the slow lane. If if the speed limit is 70 and you driving 65.3. Don't get your ass over here in this damn hammer lane because you'll fuck around and get ran over. I'm just saying. You don't get fucking around and get ran over. Motherfucking Peter Bill come down with uh, with the Jake brakes on. Yeah. You get your ass out the way then, I bet. Huh? Yeah. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> Basically, that's just the fast lane, man. So, fast lane, hammer lane, left lane. Get your ass out that lane if you not speeding. And when I say hammer lane, I mean we talking about above the speed limit. <laughs> That's usually where, where the truckers go above the speed limit. So, yeah, if you see a truck in that lane, <laughs> get your ass out the way. <laughs> All right, man. So, next phrase, since we talking about it, hammer down. Basically, this is for people... Uh, some old school truckers say, um, and we talking about for the manual drivers, not the automatic drivers. Now I'm just saying, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. No, but anyway, <coughs> hammer down means get up through there. Go and the speed through that motherfucking lane, man. Don't be playing, don't be bullshitting. Cause we hammer down in the hammer lane. Yes, sir. Anyway, left lane gang. That's a, that's another phrase term that you're gonna hear. Left lane gain. That means, yeah, they they driving driving. Yeah, they ain't nobody playing. Ain't nobody bullshitting with your ass. I'm telling you, look, if your ass drives slow, <laughs> don't get in that hammer lane, bro, cause you're gonna hear. Ah, ah. <laughs> they gonna fire your ass up. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> All right, so next word, uh, steering wheel holder. If, if somebody calls you a steering wheel holder, that means you're not a real truck driver to them. Sorry. I'm just being honest. But, uh, like, uh, a lot of people, a lot of old school drivers, they'll say if you got an automatic restriction on your license and you can't drive a manual, you're just a steering wheel holder. Hey. It is what it is. That's you know that's their opinion, but that's that's used mostly like an, uh, uh, an insult. <clears throat> anyway, uh, next word, four wheeler. Four of them. Uh, obviously, if you can't figure out what that means, I'm gonna go and explain it to you anyway. A four wheeler is a vehicle <laughs> with four wheels. <laughs> That's what us truck drivers, that's what we call regular cars and trucks on the road. Your little ass pickup truck, that's a four-wheeler. That little ass killer, that's a four-wheeler. That thought mobile Nissan Altima you got, that's a four-wheeler. <laughs> so if you hear that, if you hear that term, that's what we mean. We mean a car or a vehicle, a regular size vehicle. Alright, so next word is skateboard. Now, this is not no Tony Hawk stuff. We're not talking about no regular Tony Hawk stuff. When we say a skateboard, we're talking about a flat bed trailer. Some people call them skateboards because obviously they look like skateboard. <coughs> a flat bed trailer is just what it sounds like. It's a trailer. They got a flat bed. It's like literally, it's just like that literally looks like a skateboard so the relation is simple <laughs> right. sand can now some places in the oil field they call pneumatic trailers sand cans well the ones that haul sand and then they have what they call in the south in uh, Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, they got the water trucks and they call those 
water weenies. Up in uh, Ohio, they call them water bottles because their water trucks are shorter. They're not long and slim like the ones in uh, West Texas. They like literally, they're shorter. So they, I mean, it makes sense. They like water bottles. Now we got a box or a dry box. So that basically is a trailer is for dry freight. Dog food, dry dog food, you know, paper towels, tissue, rolls of paper, stuff like that. So it's called a box or a dry box. If you hear that reference, that's what they're talking about. Or some people just say a van. Another type of trailer is called a reefer. I'm not talking about, I ain't talking about that kind of reefer. Now get you get your mind right. Get your mind right. A reefer is a trailer that is refrigerated. We ain't talking about all that extra stuff, man. Get it together. Get your mind right. <laughs> nah, but seriously. Reefer trailer is a trailer that you can haul uh, vegetables, flowers, meats, stuff that you can temperature control, basically. If you need to be down to a certain degree, 70 degrees, the whole time it's getting transported, you can set your reefer trailer to that uh, temperature. If it's ice cream and it needs to be negative 10 or negative 20, whatever they have it at, um, then you can set your reefer trailer to that temperature and it'll hold the temperature as long as the trailer door is closed, locked, sealed, all that. And stay tuned for part three. Truck your life.